Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching Kilowatts News. I'm Kilowatts 804, here to deliver the latest news on topics ranging from movies, games, music, and current affairs, you know, and whatever going on at the moment. Right now, I want to send a birthday shout out to Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. His message of unity is damn sure needed today. All right, cameraman, roll that beautiful beam footage. Okay, with our first bit of news, we have a group of Americans that decided to show us just how patriotic they truly are by rushing the state capitol and trying to overturn the elections that way. Yes, people, Trump supporters are on the prowl again, just showing us how just stupid they truly are. On January 6th, a mob of Trumpsters rushed the capitol building, bust through the glass, beat up police officers, all that just to get their voices heard at the instruction of you-know-who, Donald J. Trump. The attempts actually failed, the votes actually were certified, and Trump is definitely on his way out January 20th. But that was a good look though, patriotic to the teeth. What I'm amazed by is the amount of restraint these police officers showed when faced with a mob of people, violent people, uh, very little people got shot, which is kind of surprising. Because when a black person turns his back and walk away, you get shot in the back seven times just for walking away. Go figure. Upon further investigation, it was discovered that a lot of these protest or I can say protesters, terrorists, wanted to hang Mike Pence, the vice president. That's very patriotic of y'all. On a second note, Donald Trump has been impeached a second time become the first president to have ever been impeached two times within his own term. How do you do that? How? How do you do that, Donald? Make no doubt about it, this is a low point for the country. Having Trumpsters attack the Capitol is just something out of a straight out of a movie. I just, I did not see that coming. Nobody saw it coming. I don't even think Trump saw it coming. No, I actually did. That's why he got impeached. Okay, hip-hop news. It appears that the somewhat beef between Snoop Dogg and Eminem, rapper Eminem, is apparently squashed. Snoop squashed it. In the IG post, uh, there was a picture presented of Dr. Dre, Eminem, and Snoop. And in the caption it said, I wonder what changed. Snoop promptly replied with nothing, we good. Confirming that Snoop squashed the beef. Good save, Snoop. No, I'm just serious. That, 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 that white boy, he can rap his ass off. Do not mess with him. Please do not. That's any rapper. Don't, do not mess with him. Do not mess with him. Including you, Snoop. Of course, we as fans are glad to hear that that is squash, whatever that was. By the way, check out Eminem's new Music To Be Murdered By Side B. Bang of an album. Check it out. Today's movie news. We got wind of some movies that just might interest everybody in 2021. Bangers, man, bangers. We're talking about Space Jam, a new legacy starring LeBron James. That should be interesting. That should be interesting. We got uh, got Godzilla vs. Kong. They actually have a picture of Kong right uppercutting Godzilla. So that has all the making of a great movie. Yes, moving on, uh, we have Zack Snyder's version of the Justice League. You know, the Justice League movie that bombed a couple years ago. Uh, they actually did a remix, a remake. Well, actually not a remake. He just is, he just doing it his way. And which it can't be worse, so we're looking forward to that. Well, originally it was an episodic type of uh, series. It was going to be, 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 be played on HBO Max. Now they have turned into a four hour movie. So get your popcorn. Get your toilet bowl, get your toothpaste, get all that. Get four hours is a long time to sit down and watch a movie. Other movies coming down the pike in 2021, Suicide Squad, Mortal Kombat, and Matrix 4. Oof, Matrix 4. 
Another one? Oh, wait a second. The gaming news. PS5 is still selling like hotcakes. They sold over, Sony sold over 3 million of them bad boys in one month, starting off with the launch. And that is excellent. But it'd be nice if we could still get our hands on it. Don't worry, gamers. Sony promises that all these Best Buy, Target, Amazon will be overstocked before March. So you can get your hands on one. Hopefully. These bots are out of control. They're buying everything. Also, for you Last of Us fans, Last of Us game, the blockbuster game that came out for the PS3 and the PS4 and the PS5. Uh, actually, they're making a, a actual movie or series on HBO Max called Last of Us. It's supposed to be live action. Now, hopefully, this thing should be good. I mean, you can't mess it up. The story in the game was straight. Just follow the story beats in the game. You can't mess it up. You can't mess it up. Don't Game of Thrones us. Don't do that. Don't do it. Yes, people, that wraps up another session of Kilowatts News. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the deal. You know how we do. And I'll see you later. Peace.